Legionnaires and welcome back with some more uh, 634 AD view. That is a uh, mod for Attila. It's a, like basically part of the Dark Ages sort of like mods that there are on the uh, on the workshop and it's a really really cool one. Uh, I won't lie. And we have got the Siege of Tbilisi for you today. Which is uh, fought in between, I think it's 627 is when it's fought. Uh, this, the uh, Siege of Tbilisi. And uh, yeah, it's fought between the Georgians. Which are being used, I think we've got like the Kartli or something like that is being used as them, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and uh, the Byzantines and the Khazars are also here, um, I believe as well. So yeah, we have like um, one Khazar army, I think we have two Roman ones as well, two Byzantine. Um, but yeah, I think in history this one was actually a failure for the, uh, for the Byzantines. They never actually took it because the Khazars uh, eventually just kind of leave and go home because of the loss of their king. So he, uh, so the business scenes kind of get left on their own, and then eventually they uh, decide to uh, change their target and go south for the Persian capital instead. So I guess in some other ways they win. But uh, yeah, we got some really cool mods on today. We got uh, a reskin for the Byzantines, and we have also got a uh, like blood and gore, blood and gore performance. Uh, so I guess it maybe just like I'm not like, never used the blood and gore thing. I guess maybe it exaggerates like the blood and gore maybe. Be interesting to see, but I. Uh, yeah, big breaches have been opened up by the Byzantines, so uh, they'll be able to pour in a lot of troops. And yeah, these Kuchatoi already lost like 30 guys going in. That's just from towers. But they've already clashed with these uh, with these spears here. Georgian mob defending the front lines. And, uh, yeah, these Kuchatoi, they should do okay, I imagine. Got Optimatoy here, also uh, taking the walls. I mean, they've actually sent them straight in. No messing around by the uh, by the businesses. They want to get straight in there. More Georgian mob next, um, mob next, and then there's a uh, Bosran's infantry behind Persian levy. So it seems like a lot of like Lotus have been thrown in first. Kurdish Javis, Sogdian warriors. They're pretty good. Got some Cav over here. We've got some mercenary uh, Persian mounted. So, uh, yeah, it seems like a very Persian sort of army, like Carly's, but obviously the Georgians would have had more Georgian infantry, so like more like Bosra and stuff, but who knows? And they've got Legio here. These guys look pretty awesome. Already cutting cutting down these uh, Georgian defenders. But yeah, this was part of the uh, Turco-Persian um, War, and uh, the Byzantines get involved in it, of course, because any good time to get involved fighting the Persians is a good time. Beat up those, uh, beat up the arch rival. Yeah, these infantry units when they come in are like losing like 30 odd guys. They are getting like really beaten up from the towers. What have they got? They got pikes out here. This could be, they could be useful. I don't think. Oh my gosh, they look like proper like medieval sort of pikes with like the shield that they have going on. Pikes, the armor it looks wow, it looks awesome. Um, really, really cool. Um, what we got here? We got some like Varangians. Obviously, the Varangian guards here. I mean, yeah, this army was led by one of the most famous, like, um, Byzantine emperors, Heracleus. I mean, he's a very, very good commander. Won many a, uh, many a battle and many a siege. I mean, these Klippanori here, yeah, just getting shot. Can, can someone move them? And then what have we got over here? We've got more, um, more, well, this is actually the Khazars. And they've got the dismounted steppe warband. I don't know if they're going to have great infantry, but they might have really good cav. Yeah, steppe tribes people. I think they've probably got really good cav, yeah. Steppe cataphracts. And then the Romans over here, kind of the same look, sort of look of army. It seems like as the other one, Armour Sagittari. Varangians. Yeah, quite a lot a lot of uh, similar stuff being said. Wow, these like spears are beaten up. Look at this, 61, 103. What, they even like get lost through towers like falling down? Just getting shot by archers? I have no idea. What we got here? We've got some, uh, some axes that have been said. This is a pretty good axe unit if I remember rightly. They do, they do pretty well. Maybe actually better than the Varangians. I, I don't know. Maybe a bold cl claim, but that's what I, I've seen them in action. They do really nasty stuff. Uh, these swords might as well just go flying in there. I don't know why they're just standing in these preventories. Like, these guys are just, like, getting javed to hell. And they've not got great armor, as you can see. This man's literally wearing a fez. He's got a javelin in his shield. I mean, they're just facing more levies. Or, like, more mob, really. So... I mean, they don't look like mob, really. Georgian mob. And they've got this sort of look. 
going on. What they got behind that boss for an infantry? These guys are going to be a can be a, a hard one to get through. Look at that! Look at these guys. They are looking very very nice. But yeah, it seems like they're onto the boss for an infantry over on this side. It's been saying this is the Optima toy. It's like the more elite than the speech toy. Still rocking that kite shield though. What we got now? More scooter toy, more Optima toy. Spears coming in. So, oh, look at these spears. They look pretty good. Again, kind of got that like sort of medieval look. This is all like the Dark Ages. You do like like sort of see the early medieval look. I mean, these cav here They've got Clivenari over here. I mean, I doubt they will charge this. This is Georgian mob spear unit. Even if it is just mob. Don't charge it. I mean, I'm calling it mob and making it sound like it's a terrible unit. I don't know. I don't really play with a 634 mod, so I don't really know. What we got over here? Sogdium Warriors. These guys are pretty good. They've got like purple sort of robes on. They've got a mace. Maybe these guys can stop the Romans. Is even the Romans? I actually don't know. Yeah, it is. It was just, oh my gosh, it's an absolute blob of Romans as well. This is a prime target if anyone's got any, like, uh, defending artillery or something like that. And there's a massive cavalry force over here. We're going to see a sally out. I think we are. Like, these guys have a lot of cav. Hephalite charges. Persian cataphracts. Yeah, they've got a lot of stuff here. Persian nobles. Got Nafatoons. Oh! Nafatoon's up here, and I kind of missed the shots. You can see like the ends of like what's going on, and it's caused a lot of troops to uh, to break and retreat. I think they've like treating a lot because the uh, the Nafatoon's kind of well, they've done a good job here. Nafatoon's they'll get a fair amount of kills, like a hundred or so kills, but they do a lot of damage and breaking units. Like they reduce ammo, uh, they reduce morale. There you go, they're uh, retreating. And um, now we've got some uh, Antisignani, or however you say that name. I don't know how. Antisignani? I don't know, but they're now in it. They're even more elite than the uh, Optima Toy, I believe. So we've got some real, real elites being sent in now. I don't think there's much more that you can really bring, it, bring in that's more elite. Maybe Herculani? Only thing, that, only thing I can think of. I don't think they've got any. I mean, the... Uh, the Varangians are more elite as well, I guess. But I meant, like, swords unit-wise, there's not much... Like, you come to the that's pretty good as well. Over here. Romans still battling on, and they just broke through that Persian levy. They're now going to face Sokian warriors. It seems like the Romans, yeah, the Scooter Toy... are just slowly working their way through the Persian mob. Yeah, they're wavering them. The Bosphorans are uh, holding on just about. And they've broken everything over on this side, though. I mean, I don't know how much was his. It seems like a Legio. Maybe they... And the Cavs been in. Clibonari has been in. And it definitely didn't work. I mean, it's just been... I don't know if it was stood here or what, but it's been getting focused down. And uh, these Persian... Uh, these Georgian mobs, sorry, are just about held on. Persian Brigade over here. They're a, a light melee infantry. They've done pretty well. They've managed to match those Byzantines. They're sending in more and more infantry. I mean, this is just a little Preventories. It's just like rallied. And look at this. Looks like the uh, Armenian, not Armenians, the uh, Georgians. <laughs> pushing them down the hill. Pushing the Romans back down this hill. Though the uh, Antis Nani and I, the Romans here are winning. The, uh, the Byzantines are winning. Call them Romans if you want. They are basically the uh, successors of the Roman Empire.
And the NAF throws have been sent in because they're out of ammo. Still a lot of, like, they've got a lot of cap blobs up over here of the, uh, the defenders. I mean, maybe they're just trying to defend this gate so they can get the cav out if they want to. I mean, it's not a bad idea. I mean, they've got one, two, three, uh, four units of cav, I think. They've got four units of cav on this side. They could just send them all out here. And they might be able to beat most of this cab. This cab's pretty beating up this Clevenari. Uh It's like, it's seen it's seen damage, put it like that. And I mean, they've got some maybe melee here and a general. Could maybe go for the general. But I mean, I guess the worry is that obviously like the step uh, faction and the Khazars have got a lot of cab. Like a lot of cab. Noble Horse Archers, Cataphractoi in there now as well for the uh, Byzantines. I mean, where do they send the cab though? There's not really like any openings. I guess bring the Horse Archers up to fire ammo, but yeah. And here we go, there's a big sally out the back. They've seen all of that cavalry come in uh, through the front there for like... The step factions and then they're going, you know what, now it's time to go. Now it's time to go out and go and get some kills. Still a lot of cav out here though, I mean we've got small step horse archers. Noble, uh, Enemy units have been the Katziri Rages, these guys are pretty d damn elite. Look at them. I love, love the officer. Uh, step cataphracts, they'll be nasty. I mean, they just look like Huns, really. I mean, the Byzantines is the only one that got a reskin, so... Don't know why I'm really looking at anything else. Large Onager, which has got no ammo now. I'm surprised the step people would be able to make a large Onager. But there you go. Gotta believe. Byzantines over here, battling on as well. So they're fighting these Georgian mob. And you know what? The Georgians, they're doing a good job. I mean, looking at the balance of power right now, it's... Still 5,700 against uh, 5,300. I mean, they're dropping quick, though. 66%. Wow. Morale minus 11. Melee attack minus 11. Melee defense minus 11. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you've also got to think that a lot of the, the numbers for the attackers are actually cav. Which, though cavs... I mean, actually, I say that. It's the same for the defenders. They have, like, a bunch of cav, which is all coming out this side. Okay. So, they are going to come around... Maybe go for a general, not just a militant maybe. You can see more cab coming out this gate as I expected. So there's a lot of cab now coming out. All this Persian cab that's for some reason fighting. Fighting for the, uh, for the Georgians. I guess it would. Persians are on the same side as the Georgians. Eastern Scouts. I mean, this is, yeah, this one cab is not going to be enough. And it's also getting shot anyway by uh, Arch Towers. And you can see lots more cab now coming in this direction. You've got Light Lancers, you've got Step Raiders, you've got General coming over, and yeah, so much more cab. I mean, now would be the time with these other three. Oh, oh I didn't realize they're so close to the, like, the cab point of the Romans. Wow, they've sent in, like, Axis have sent in these Varangians here. I did not even realize. Um, I was going to say, you can send these other two cab units that are just here. Send them out the gate and go around and go and attack the other side. While all the cabs now bolted over to one side. The cab fight is now happening. And the Romans look like they're losing. I mean they're gonna because they're two being 2v1 and the shot cab as it the bite as the battle goes on, it's just gonna like lose more and more men. So as you can see they're dropping pretty quick actually. More cab is starting to arrive. The light lancers come in. Let's get their point of view. Okay, or not? Apparently not. How rude. Okay, those light lancers will get a pretty good initial charge. I don't know if they'll uh, be able to turn it. I mean, they've got low armor. They're not going to like stand in battle for very long. Yeah, they're turning it around to start with, but another wave of cav is on the way. It needs a Savara and Cataphracts. They're pretty damn good. And the infantry's just got to hold on long enough because this cab's like, it's wrecking lives. I mean, the Romans are, Step Raiders, I mean, they're doing okay. Light Lancers still actually surprisingly winning. Not quite sure how they are. What are they fighting to be winning? Uh, this Eastern Scout, maybe? Oh, they're losing now. They're also getting shot off the wall by crossbows. I mean, that's actually the Romans. That's a pretty good move. 
apart from like the two Georgians that are like fighting them here. They're like, no, you shall not shoot at our cavalry. They're not done yet. Yeah, they've got, I mean, they've got a pretty clear line of sight here just to shoot anything they want. Fire! Or not. Yeah, I mean, look at this massive cavalry. I mean, a lot of units losing. The general over here, Magister Militum, has just knocked out these Eastern Scouts. I don't know. As more and more cav comes over here, there's the... Uh, Romans seem to be containing it. Savar and Califrax losing. Who's winning over here, really? I mean, I'd say this what this is combat's pretty good for the defenders. They've like so much cavalry outnumbering it. Like the uh the Romans. I mean, you need to be careful here, then you get a decent charge off, yeah. It might be okay to be fair. That Magister Militum may have not wanted to charge that. It was a shock cav. He is losing, but uh, he may turn that around as time goes on. I mean, the step cataract here could always support, and I, I think this unit is... Oh, they've beaten everything here as well. Okay, yeah. And the defenders are starting to turn this around. If you get these axes and pikes up here, I mean, that would be a great support. Back to the infantry fight, though. And look at this. They are right on the cap point, are the, uh, are the Romans. They are battling around the cap point. This Georgian mob is desperately trying to hold back all sorts of cavalry down here and infantry. Battling around the statues of men with wings, men horses with wings. But yeah, I mean, this is looking pretty good for the Romans. I mean, it looks like if they can set up this uh, cohort here, which they are doing now, so it's a really smart move. They can block this entrance, and it means that the uh, like Cavs all can have to come all the way around here to try and support any sort of fight. And they're going to try and cap the, capture the point, I think. But as you can see, there's a massive sort of chain route going on right now, actually. I don't know if this is because like a general's died. I have no idea. Maybe it's just because the cap point's been lost. I have no idea. It might be also morale. Like morale is like down minus 11 to the defenders. Like, they are at a massive disadvantage there. And you got cavalry starting to break, unfortunately. I think, yeah, I think it's just like they just snapped. Army losses sort of uh, caused a massive sort of shift in morale. And they've gone from, they were like very even level peggings on numbers, and now we've got the attackers of like four times the amount. What's down here? Oh, this is Varangians. They look pretty damn, pretty damn awesome. And look at this. They have, like, the point now. The Romans have got it locked down. They've done a really good job. They just really pushed straight at the slope and just... Yeah, just went straight for it. I mean, it looks like the uh, defenders are bringing a general all the way around. This uh, Savarin Sadar just to come around. I think he was, like, tucked up here somewhere. But generals are wavering at, like, 80 men. So, uh, yeah, that is probably going to be the battle because uh, everything's chain routing, unfortunately. And they've captured the points and the uh, time is starting to go down. To and uh, that, like I said, will be the battle, really. And the Siege of Tbilisi is going to be changing history. Um, it's going to be a Roman victory. The Romans won't be going down to Sestafion uh, to, uh, to go and get the Persians. They're going to stick around in uh, Tbilisi by the looks of it. But, yeah, this was a really, really cool battle. I really enjoyed it. Um, nice to see, like, 634 in action again. We don't often see it. And uh, nice to come back to sort of, like, the Dark Ages period. We often do, like, a lot of Attila, but we do, like, 1212. We do Rise of Mordor, stuff like that. It's nice to come back and actually see sort of a, a similar period to what, like, Attila is supposed to be about. It's about a few hundred years later, but even still, like, to see similar units uh, to what Vanilla, basically Vanilla Attila is in action is really nice. And, yeah, these units are just all breaking. This is just rough. And like the Savarans are dying. He's a, uh, got a bow cav. I just realized it's um, medium melee, but it has a bow. That's pretty cool. But yeah, he is. Uh, they're, they're all wavering at this point, and they've just sent in the general over here just to throw him in. Nothing better to do at this point, and he's got no army. 
yeah, if you enjoyed, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and I come to show your support as always. It's uh, your support is always appreciated as we work towards 5k subs. Can't thank you guys enough. And if you want to get involved in some of these uh, like 634 matches, if you're like, oh, I want to get the mod, but uh, I've got no one really to play with it, then feel free to join the Discord. Uh, the link is down below in the description. And uh, yeah, we've got a nice community there uh, of people that really enjoy playing lots of different mods for Attila and Rome 2 and all sorts. But yeah, this was a close victory for the Romans. So we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. Um, so yeah, this one was a, uh, a replay sent in by Mythic, but the uh, scenario is set up by Sarchex, who was playing as the Khazars. So uh, yeah, thank you to both of them uh, for like sending it in and for organizing it. It's a really, really cool uh, scenario. And uh, yeah, we'll have a quick look at some of these, uh, these scores. So we'll look at uh, Mythic first, I guess. Um, so we got 133 kills as his general. I don't know if he died, but he's really beaten up. His spears is uh, Romanoi Stratiatai. I don't know how you say it. Getting 116 kills. His pikes never got into combat. His legio getting 101 kills. His Pre uh, Preventori is getting 153 kills. Pretty nice for them. Scooter Toy, 246. Optima Toy, 176. Uh, Varangians getting 356, very nicely done. Um, and then his like elite Ballastari getting a decent amount of kills as well. Like his archers, he only had two of actually. Did pretty well. His cav not so great. Um, kind of just seemed to be getting shot up everywhere he put it. And then we got uh, Brasidas who's playing as the other, um, as the other Roman army or the other Byzantines. Um, his spear is getting 80 kills. His oh uh, this this spear here, a slightly more elite one, getting 140. Three kills is the Exploratore is getting 195 kills, really nice for them. Cohort is getting 133, 216 with his Legio Comestiensis. Um, and then you got his uh, Antes Signani uh, getting 191, his Axe is getting 98, this uh, Varangian getting 269, and his Cavs did a lot better than Mythics, getting 109 kills, much better. Then we have Sachex who's playing as the Khazars or like. The, uh, the, I think like the, the Turks or something like that in history, really. Um, but same thing, really. Um, 180 kills of the Steppe Tribes people. Um, 150 kills of Dismounted Steppe's Warband. His Steppe Warriors taking 300 kills and relatively healthy still. So they would have gone on and got maybe another 50, 60, I don't know. Shield Archer's getting 250, uh, 212 kills. His, uh, <laughs> look at all this Cav. Um, I mean, this ca Horse Archer get over 100 kills, but yeah, none of his Cav actually, like, it's... Over 100 kills by his archers. I mean, his horse archers. And 92 for his step rage is pretty good. His cataphracts kind of seem to uh, get a bit caught up in combat, I think. Um, a lot of his cav is like shot cav, so it's not like going to do great in combat. But anyway, then we've got uh, Swifting, who's playing as uh, one of these uh, Cartley factions. So basically playing as the Georgians. Uh, like all of these Georgian mob, yeah, not doing great. Uh, getting like little to no kills. 120 kills with the boss for an infantry. Kurdish Javi's getting 162 kills, pretty good. His archer's getting 137. His cap getting 181 uh, kills. This Grim, uh, Griv Panvanag. Cataphracts. They're, they're cataphracts. They did very, very well, put it like that. Um, they're really elite as well. I'm surprised. They should have maybe done a little bit better, but um, didn't see them in action either. And then we've got the Persian Brigade getting 78 kills here for GOD. Um, then we've got Sogdian Warriors getting 80. Five kill, uh, 86 kills, 95 kills. Uh, Persian bows getting 70 kills. His cav, which he did a lot of as well, getting 56 kills. And his Nafatoons getting 77. Then we got Swifting, who was playing as the final Georgian defense. Uh, oh no, I think I've looked at Swifting. Sorry, uh, looking at uh, looking at Targan. Sorry, um, his uh, boss friend and warriors not doing amazing, unfortunately. They're his best infantry. Or some of his best infantry. You've got Sogdian Warriors here getting 106 kills. They did pretty well. Slinger's doing okay, getting like 58 kills, uh, 68 kills. And then you've got Scouts and this Cav, which he had, like, had all this massive Cav, and he probably helped Sally out. Uh, got 77 kills with this Heflite Charger, but only like 60 kills with his Cataphracts, which is a bit of a shame. Um, really need to use Cataphracts on infantry that, other than Cav, because though it's okay on Cav, that's infantry's where it's strongest. But anyway, guys, that is the Siege of Tbilisi. If you enjoyed, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and feel free to leave a comment as well to show your support. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.